Hey guys, this is Snipeye, and this is my first LP. Got inspired by a few people. I saw Static's very first. He led me to Ethos. Went from there to CoStar, BW, and Good. I've watched a whole bunch and decided I want to give my own a shot. So, we're going to create a world here. And I don't know if I'm just going to call this series Let's Play or what. So, for now, I'll just call it My World. And just make sure, yep. It's going to be on hard the whole time. I play in almost 100% vanilla. The only mod I use is FM Debug Mod. That's because when I press F3, I hate seeing all the graphs and stuff. So those are toggled, or supposed to be toggled by F4, but it's a little bit buggy. But I never need to see those graphs, so I don't want to. But uh, it's going to stay on hard the whole time. And, uh, ooh, I hate this bobbing. Let me, let me fix my video settings here. It's going to be everything maxed off because my computer can handle that. So, yeah, that looks good to me. And I'll turn the sound down a little bit because I don't know how loud it's going to sound to you guys. I'll turn it to 50% for this episode. If that sounds too loud or too quiet, let me know, and I'm going to try and fix it. So, difficulty hard... And I'll turn the music down to like 10. It's nice, but a little bit distracting. Okay. Yeah, I like that a lot more. Maybe it seems a bit bright to you guys. Let me know. First things first, we're going to need some wood, but might as well get some bacon while I can. Give me some pork chops. Come on. I know how much you wanted to help me out, pig. Come on. Yeah, so I've never done something where I stayed on hard the whole time. I do the majority of things I do on hard, but if ever I'm about to die or something, I'll usually just switch to easy or peaceful and survive. But I'm not going to do that this time. And if it means dying in a cave with 100,000 diamonds, then I'll die in a cave with 100,000 diamonds. Thanks, Creeper. Alright, so already we've got a cave around here. And it's going to be nice. Ooh, it's Irvine. Perfect. It's going to be beautiful to explore later. But I want to get my house ready to go. Or at least get some things up and running so I don't die come night. Probably can't hope to find iron very fast. But if I do, then I can get some wool and even have a bed to sleep through the night. That'll be nice. One of the other things I'll do that's not, strictly speaking, vanilla is... I will use a slime finder application just because I hate searching through chunks endlessly trying to find my own. I've done that before and it's not fun. So I have no problem using external tools, but I'm not going to be like using MC edit and finding dungeons and diamonds and all that stuff. I'm going to stay pretty darn close to vanilla if not straight vanilla. Well, and it's not straight vanilla. So uh, let's just get a crafting table up and going here. And I hate using wood tools completely and utterly with a passion. So if I can avoid doing it, I will. Meaning... Yeah, see, there's some stone there. I don't want to jump my way right into a room. I want to get the stone tools as fast as possible. Oh, cool, cool. Well, that was easy. There we go. So, one, two, and three. Now that we've got that, I will not ever use a wood pick again, hopefully. Wood pick, die in a hole. And now, I'll start actually gathering a little bit of stuff. My first house might just be a little kind of inside the ground one, just for ease of use here. Oh, wow, did I already run into a cave? Well, that's nice. Probably things that want to kill me down here. As much as I want to play on hard this whole time, I don't want to die within five minutes, but this actually looks like a pretty mellow cave. 
Regardless, I don't think I'm gonna sleep in this. I'll grab a little bit of coal out of it. And I'll get out of here and make myself probably just a little dirt hut somewhere. It's a good first night kind of shelter. Yeah, pardon me if I ever just kind of go quiet. I don't always have a whole bunch to say. If that bugs you, let me know. Again, I'm just trying to... I want to get a lot of views, so the better I can make videos, and the better you guys like it, hopefully the more views I get. That's my ultimate goal here. Well, yeah, so... Okay, let me get rid of this. I really don't want it. Yep. Now that's gone. Um, still got a little bit of wood here. Let's make ourselves a shovel. And start gathering a little bit of dirt. And you know, having snow would be nice, because that means I'll be able to make snow bombs really easily here if I have a lot of But, again, I'm probably not going to stay around here for very long. Unless I find a good place for slime hunting, then I'll go there and build a nice structure for gathering slimes. I like to automate things like that. I will build mob farms and that sort of stuff because I don't like grinding mobs and sitting there trying to gather items forever. In my last world, I actually got my mob farm pretty dang efficient. point that within a couple days, I'd filled up a double chest with every kind of drop that you could get from mobs. I had a double chest of gunpowder, double chest of arrows, bones, etc. So, this is cool, I guess. I don't know. I don't often run into brown sheep. I've only ever found one pink sheep. So let's kill it. Sweet. There's gotta be more sheep. Is this wolves? No, sheep. Let's get a little bit more wool here. If I can get out for a bed, that'll be a good start. I'm glad I saw something down there, but I didn't. Dang it. Oh, it's gonna try and run away here. No, I'm gonna stay here. Come on, stop it. That's right, it's my wolf. Now I've got enough to make a bed. It's good enough for me for now. And in case you haven't noticed, I like to sprint. I sprint a lot. It's, I don't know, bad habit, good habit, or not? I don't know. I like getting places fast. Once sprint came out, I was pretty excited. So, I'll get a little crude structure here up and running. Oh, okay, apparently you can only get the getting wood achievement with an axe, because I totally got wood like 12 seconds ago. Anyway. Yep. Yeah, my tools aren't in the place I usually keep them. Let me... There we go. That's what I'm used to. Gather a little bit of wood here, and then I'll be able to actually build a little bit of a structure. Because right now, I'm sure this isn't terribly interesting to you guys. So just give me a second here. And you know, maybe in later episodes I'll cut boring stuff like this out, but for the first episode, it's kind of important. Because without this, I wouldn't actually have much filler for this episode, and you'd see about four minutes of footage total, and that's not very interesting. Oh, I already got a sapling. That's nice. Uh, this is my favorite kind of tree, because it never gets big trees. You don't get ugly things. And it still grows pretty tall, and you get a lot of wood. So, this looks like a nice size structure for me. Okay, we're going to need a furnace. I want to cook my meat here. And I don't have much coal, so I'll do it with this. Just kind of saving on any materials I can. Don't want to be overly wasteful. Alright, let's get a door. Yeah, that was not the most efficient way to build a door. Oh, but that'll be nice. Oh, 
There we go. I like that. Okay. We now have a cooked pork chop. I'm gonna eat it so I don't starve to death here. And let's get a sword. That was weird. Okay. And let's get a couple of pigs before it gets too dark to see anything. I heard a zombie. Already. A goodie. When I normally play, I keep F3 open most of the time just because I pretty much ignore it. And it's nice so I can see my coordinates all the time. So if I ever just leave F3 open... Sorry guys, I apologize, I don't mean to. It's just how I'm used to playing because I like to have my coordinates handy. And I'm already level 1, almost 2. Yeah, I could do an awesome enchantment. Uh, my computer's usually pretty good, but occasionally I'll get things like that. For the most part, I just ignore them. If that bugs you a lot, I can turn down my graphics settings and whatnot. Try and get rid of it. And I've probably been saying something to that effect a lot in this episode. If that bugs you, let me know. Sorry to overuse that phrase, but... Again, I just want to have a good LP that people like to watch, so... Then another thing that bugs me, I don't like having a really low ceiling. I want to be able to jump around in my house. So... There we go. So I'll usually raise my ceilings a little higher than is necessary. because I like it that way. It gives it a roomy sort of feeling. Oh, and I'm out of dirt. Good. Well, probably things can't get in through there, so let's just get a couple torches up and running. And put them on walls and in front of the door and stuff. And is it just me or does that light seem really yellow? That light seems pretty yellow to me. Right, now we're going to want a bed. There you go. Got that. Let's sleep through the night and just get that over with. I love the food stacks now. It's been a while since they added that in, but I still like it a lot. Just because I hated having to put food in furnaces individually, so I'd almost never cook meat I got. So, I didn't really eat much food when I began eat to play, just because it was too much of a pain. took up too many inventory slots. I don't know why I told you that. Hopefully you find it interesting. Um, well, I don't know exactly what kind of LP you guys are looking for. I'm going to try and do a lot of inventing. I'm not going to try and dethrone Etho here. But I enjoy making up creations, stuff like that. In my old world, I actually made a pretty cool netherwort farm. Fully automatic. Well, not fully automatic. Pardon me. Uh, pretty automatic. It would bring the netherwort directly to you, so you didn't have to move it all to gather it. But then you had to run around to plant it anyway, so it was kind of pointless. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to stay in this area very long, like I've already mentioned. But long enough, I think, to just get some iron going. So I'm going to dig a little bit of a mine right into my house here. And then I've got some torches. That's good. Oh, cool. That's nice. But... You know, as soon as I can get away from stone tools, I'll get to iron tools. And as soon as I can justify getting away from iron tools, I'll move on to diamond. But I like to have quite a bit of diamond in reserve before I move on to diamond tools. I don't know why, it just makes me feel better. So, it's probably going to be a while before I get to those. Yeah, just looking around for a little bit of iron. I'll probably find some in a ravine if I go down there. So, might as well start that now. 
make a chest up here. Need more than that to make a chest. Here we go. Shove everything into there. Except for my sword. Pick and shovel. It's a good loadout. And I'll respawn in here if I die. I uh, might want a little bit of food. Wish you could put it back, but you can't. That's good for me. Okay. First challenge, getting into it. Oh, hey there. Already we got a creeper. Just waiting for us. See, there's already some iron, so... First challenge is getting into here without dying. Huh. Yeah, that could be a little bit difficult. Actually, this isn't too bad. There we go. Oh, well, that, that would have been good to know about before. See, it looks like it goes off in a bunch of different directions, connects to a few caves, so... Could be good. And I hear some spiders, I hear some skeletons already. I don't know if you guys can hear them, it might be that my game sounds too low, but from my experience... You guys hear the game sound a lot more than I do. So... I guess we'll find out. Well, that was not quite what I wanted there. Oh, uh, yeah. There's the first skeleton there. That's what I was hearing. Some arrows. A little bit of experience. Alright. We're getting to the point where we're almost down there. That's another skeleton up there. And this creeper wants to murder us. There we go. Eat it, creeper. There we go. Finally a little bit of iron. Yeah, I don't use my hotkeys to switch to items very often. It's just not what I'm used to. But, oh, probably should, considering that mobs really want to kill me, and it makes it easier to kill them if I can switch my item faster. So I might consider it in the future, but... For now, it's just kind of a playing habit I've developed. Alright, already a little bit of iron here. And I won't switch to iron tools quite yet, simply because... I hate not having enough iron to keep a sustainable amount of iron tools up, and then you have to switch back to stone, and it seems horribly slow. Right. Oh, you can't fight the currents, can you? They want to kill you. Not like I need zombie flesh, but... I hear spiders. And while I'm not... I don't dislike spiders, I dislike cave spiders, and... Yeah, I just like cave spiders a lot. And my last world was just ridden with mine shafts everywhere. Like I couldn't escape them. No matter what I tried. And it was not very fun for me. One of the reasons I ended up starting New World and now an LP. Oh, I should have brought torches. Alright, I saw some iron. There's some iron. I just know something's gonna try and dive bomb me. There's some iron there too. But uh, basically once I get a couple iron tools and a good stack or so of iron, maybe a few blocks of iron, then I'll head off and start looking for somewhere more suitable for a permanent base. You know, my first base probably won't be anything too grand, but... Yeah. But I do hope to eventually make some pretty awesome bases. Okay, this isn't just me. You guys hear that spider too, right? 
it's probably just hiding in the wall somewhere, waiting to murder me and all my children. Okay, that's gotta be close. But I'm okay if I don't meet it. I will let it... Okay, that was definitely a creeper. Probably trying to dive bomb me from somewhere. Is that it? Hey, hey. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Yeah, you can stay down there, creeper. Okay, you're annoying. Yeah. And first creeper explosion. Maybe I'll keep a running total of those because they seem to have a particular affinity for me here. Anyway, um, I would go into here. I don't know how well you guys can see, so I'll probably try to avoid darker areas until I'm better at editing. Can add in little lights and stuff like that. I could probably figure it out, but for first episode, I'll avoid it. More iron. That's something I really need. Also gather a little bit of coal. I'm just not used to Oh look, I need coal. <laughs> I had stacks and stacks and stacks of this stuff in my old world, so it's gonna be a bit of transition to get back into the oh yeah, this is me starting over kind of mindset. You guys probably can't see very well, so I'll get out of here pretty quick. It's probably almost night time again. Uh, another thing. So I'm trying, with this LP, one of the things I want to do is avoid doing things other people did in LPs that bugged me. Etho mentioned this, I think, in his first episode as well. Like, he didn't like people explaining what Minecraft was. You know, if you figured if you're watching his LP, there's a reason. It's because you already know Minecraft and you want to watch people play it. I'm going to assume much the same thing. Oh, man. Dang it. Dang it. I'm going to assume much the same thing. Ah, shoot. Should have brought some wood. Right. Try this again. I'm going to assume much the same thing. And just kind of say if you're... W <laughs> okay. Just kind of assume if you're watching this, then you know what I'm doing. You know what I'm playing. If you want an explanation to how to play this, then go watch somebody else's LP. Just kidding. Keep watching mine. I want you to watch mine. But, uh... Wow. All my tools just want to break today. There we go. Now you guys can see. And, like I thought, it's just about night time. So, sun... Rise or sunset? I never know. I'm going to assume it's sunset and hope I can go to sleep. Yep. Okay. So we're getting a little bit of iron. That's nice. Wish you could shift click into furnaces. Alright, put all that into there. Bring out some torches this time. And I'll make a couple. Well, what was that? Make a couple of tools instead, so that I don't run out again. Um, yeah. And yeah, I'll just I'll do that. Put those into there. Hang on to these blocks. There we go. I needed a shovel. I thought I made a shovel. There we go. Put the coal in here. Oh, I have an egg. That was a bit. Um, yeah, that's that's good. And we'll head back into there. Try to get a little bit more iron. Oh, Enderman. Oh, and he's gone again. I would try to kill him, but he'd probably destroy me. 
Oh, here's where I came out. That's cool. Yeah, and they're still right down there, just waiting to murder me. Um. What else did I want to say? Right, so I'm going to be trying to do better in this LP than other people did in their LPs. Not, not quite what I'm trying to say here. I want to avoid doing things that annoy other people in this LP. For instance, I already gave the example of not explaining what Minecraft was, but then also... I know, sometimes it just bugs me when people craft things in weird ways. Or just are generally inefficient, waste time, etc. Like I'm doing right now, just kind of wandering around aimlessly. Don't use shovels. Yeah. Here we go. This is nice. Okay, bring it, creeper. Oh, you can't even get over here, can you? Oh, shoot, you can. Knock back. There we go. There's probably a better way to do that. Ooh, now that one wants me. Well, you know, I've recovered a little bit of iron out of here. I want just a little bit more and then... Then I'll probably end the episode for today. I don't know how long I'm getting, how long it's been. I'll probably want to keep around 20, maybe 30 minute episodes as a rule of thumb. I hear a skeleton. It's probably going to try to kill me. Oh, that was a lot of iron right there. Thank goodness I mined that. That was a really useful tunnel. <sighs> right, so... I'll try to keep it around 25-30 minute episodes, and then... We'll see where it goes from there. If that seems like a good length, I'll keep it up. Maybe it'll get longer or shorter. I don't know. And the other thing is time to play. I don't always have a whole bunch of time to play, so I can't promise an episode every week or something. Um... Wish I had a bucket. I'd mind that iron, but it'd just go away because of the lava. And I hear something jumping around in water, and I don't know where it is. Um, another thing, world downloads. I know a few LPRs do this. I don't know if that's something you guys are interested or not. Probably first episode is not exactly... Oh yeah, I really want to get this first episode world download because it was so awesome, this first episode. Because I know this is probably pretty lame and average. So, not expecting anything super awesome for a first time here. But, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to check how long this episode has been, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so just check the episode length, and we're about 28, 29 minutes here. So, I'm going to call that good. I'm going to call that good, and next episode we'll hopefully move out and find a new base and stuff. So, I will see you then. Thanks for watching.